Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with the Notre Dame versus Georgia recap for the 2019 college football season here in week four. Before I continue, hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated if you do that. I have a subscriber goal of 200 subscribers that I would love to hit by the end of the month. So go ahead and hit that subscriber button. If you're not subscribed already, you won't regret it. So uh, this game was um, pretty much a defensive matchup here. Uh, give Notre Dame credit. Uh, they played their tails off but at the end. I'm going to be honest with you. That home crowd is not going to let Georgia lose. And that was probably your main difference, that home crowd, as Georgia picked up the 23-17 to win. Uh, the Georgia offense, um, listen, I think the philosophy of the Georgia offense in today's game was we'll run the ball heavily for the first three quarters, and then um, in the fourth quarter, they'll open it up. And that's what they did. Um, you wish it might have pulled away a bit more, uh, but unfortunately, they only were able to pick up 23. Uh, no Dame had a pretty good defense, so give them credit as well. Defensively, Georgia looked pretty good. The running game looked good. The passing game, I want Georgia to take more shots down the passing game. Um, I really think that Georgia is a top five team. Uh, they'll be in the top five in my poll here, in, uh, which uh, comes out on Monday. You'll see them in the top five. They do have the best win in college football, in my opinion. So that's the good news if you're Georgia right now. Uh, no, Dame, listen, they played a lot better than I thought they were going to play. Really good defensively. Offensively, they looked better than I thought they were going to look. Um, but at the end, I just couldn't see no Dame getting this win, especially in Athens, the way it, that crowd was in Athens. There was no way no Dame was going to get this win. You could tell the crowd that caused them to call, um, to, um, call several timeouts because of how, how the noise was. Brian Kelly and company, uh, they just came up a bit short. Um, I do want to say this, though, about the Notre Dame playoff hopes. Um, I know at the end there, uh, the uh, uh, Gary, I forget his last name, the guy on uh, CBS, the uh, co-commentator on CBS, I know he said Notre Dame still has playoff chances. Listen, they don't have playoff chances. And the reason why I don't think they have playoff chances is because of Michigan. Michigan will be going into the Notre Dame game with at least two losses, I think. So, and they already have one of them now. So, I think they'll lose another game before that Michigan, before the uh, Notre Dame game Michigan will. And I just don't think it's a strong enough resume. Now, granted, they deserve credit for uh, keeping this one close. They had a lead um, at halftime. They got a huge break um, when Georgia muffed that punt. I mean, if Georgia didn't muff that punt, this game would have been 23-10 to 10 Georgia, and we, we would have been talking about a different game. So, overall, give Notre Dame credit, but unfortunately, I think college playoff hopes, I, I kind of think they're done with this year. Now, it doesn't mean if you have a bunch of two-loss conference champions and Notre Dame sitting there at 11-1, doesn't mean they deserve to get in because I do think they'll get in. But I think with how they played last year against Clemson and with them already having one loss against a team that's better than them, in my opinion, I, I just really feel like um, no Dame, no playoff hopes of that. But uh, they, it could, they could come back if uh, you have some two-loss conference champions in the Big Ten, SEC, even though I think a two-loss SEC champion will get in no matter what, or in the Big 12. So we'll see what happens. Um, but overall, no Dame college football playoff hopes, I think, are kind of dead. New Year's Six Bowl hopes, though, definitely a lot. Uh, let's talk about the other games that happened here. Uh, Oklahoma State versus number 12, Texas. Texas, they held on despite muffing two punts, 36 to 30. Listen, Texas, um, I still think Oklahoma's better than you. I think Oklahoma's going to beat you here in a few weeks. And they'll probably beat you again in the Big 12 championship. And you could lose a game elsewhere. So we'll see what happens with Texas. Oklahoma State, they're one of those teams that they're going to just be middle of the road. They got a few lucky breaks to make this closer than it should have been. But overall, Oklahoma State, I think, is a bold team. Arkansas, they lose to uh, San Jose State. Big win for San Jose State on the road. That's a big upset right there. Give them credit. Um, Arkansas, listen. I like. 
um, where Ar the, the uh, direction Arkansas is heading, I think uh, they they have like a top 25 recruiting class, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the last recruiting cycle in uh, football, I don't, I didn't like Arkansas last year. I don't like Arkansas this year, and I don't think they'll be that good next year. Arkansas, I mean, you guys really embarrassed the SEC today, losing to uh, San Jose State, probably your worst team in the Mountain West. But good win for San Jose State. Um, Illinois has third and ten with a minute fifty-four after the game one in front of me. Illinois has uh, third and ten with a minute fifty-four down by four. Um, forty-two to thirty-eight. Um, Nebraska right now in that game. Halftime in the Colorado uh, ASU game. Uh, Colorado they're up on up at twenty-four. Arizona State on the road twenty-four twenty-one. Fresno State is up on Sacramento State fourteen to twelve. Uh, Washington State up at 19. Washington State they're up on UCLA 21 to 17 midway through the second quarter. Utah State they're up on San Diego State 13 to three. Um, as the uh, second quarter is on um, winding down, uh, let's see what else we got here. Number 16 Oregon they get the win over Stanford 21 to six. I'm trying to see what else we got popping. Uh, number one Clemson they beat Charlotte 52 to 10. Up with 21, uh, Virginia, they were down 17 to nothing against Old Dominion, but they came back and won a 28 to 17. Um, let's see, TCU, they couldn't complete the comeback. SMU gets the upset on the road, 41 to 38. TCU, number 25, TCU goes down. They won't be in the rankings uh, next week, and they weren't in my rankings anyways. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Mississippi State, they hold the one against Kentucky, 28-13. Uh, Miami, they beat Central Michigan 17-12. to That's uh, that's kind of concerning if you're Miami. And I know Miami fans will live it after this one. Um, it looks like Nebraska got the ball back, and Illinois has no timeout. So I think Nebraska is going to win this one 42-38 uh, against Illinois uh, as they barely squeak it out. Let's see. Missouri, they beat South Carolina 34 to 14. Uh, South Carolina, they are kind of in trouble um, if they for them making a bowl game, by the way. They're going to have to pull off an upset somewhere. Or probably two upsets, honestly. West Virginia, they escaped, they, um, escaped Kansas with a 29 24 victory. New Mexico, they beat New Mexico State in a shootout 55 52. That looked like a pretty good game right there, so. Um, that's good for the um, in-state rivalry, a good game there. Liberty, they beat Hampton 62-27. Eastern Carolina, they beat William and Mary 19-7. That's not that impressive. FAU, they beat Ragnar 42-7. Arkansas State, they beat, uh, I think, Southern Illinois 41-28. Um, let's see. Texas State, they beat Georgia State in overtime, three overtimes. 37-34, uh, Georgia State, the team that beat Tennessee in week one. Texas State, a team that I actually make fun of a lot on this channel, honestly. As a, I usually just use them as an example, as a uh, shit show. They beat Georgia State, so that's not good if you're Tennessee. Baylor, they beat Rice 21-13. to NC State, uh, they beat Ball State 34-23. to And Rice and Ball State, they actually are a bit better than I thought they were, were going to be this year. Uh, they're playing their opponents tough, so give those uh, two teams credit for keeping it close. North Texas, they beat UTSA 45-3. to Nevada, uh, they beat uh, UTEP 37-21 to on the road. Nebraska, they're going to beat Illinois 42-38 is final. And then um, Hawaii, they're getting ready to kick off against Central Arkansas. so I expect them to win that one. So, um, basically, that's kind of what happened tonight. Um, I, one thing I do want to talk about, there is not a lot of good games next week, uh, per se, especially on Saturday. And also, um, your, like, for example, your Fox uh, 12 o'clock noon kickoff, which I make fun of sometimes because I call it the Bad Burger King promo. It was, it was a good promo this week, at least on paper. They have Texas Tech versus Oklahoma. That that's not going to be a good game. CBS has Ole Miss versus Alabama. That's definitely not going to be a good game. You know that uh, 
Alabama has outscored. Uh, they, I think they outscored Mississippi State in the past two years, 128 to 10. That is not going to be a good game. And that game's in Tuxaloosa. It just shows you the bias of Alabama. And, um, and what else? Uh, your, uh, your ABC game is going to be, uh, Ohio State and Nebraska. The way Nebraska is playing this year, they barely got out of this game against Illinois with the win. They will probably lose by three touchdowns against Ohio State, FYI. Uh, so that's, so it's not really an impressive week, uh, for games. You do have one, it looks like you will have one top 25 matchup, and that's going to be Virginia versus No Dame. No Dame, uh, that'll be an interesting game for them. Same thing with Virginia. So I'm looking forward to that. But outside of that, the only other game I'm looking forward to is the Mayor and Turfs game. And, uh, Pending my schedule. Right now my schedule's open, but I might have to work. Hopefully I don't. Um, I don't think I will. I will be live streaming my reaction to the game from start to end that Friday uh, night. The game's at 8 o'clock on FS1. So stay tuned for that. Um, and that's pending. I will know by Tuesday the latest if I'm working or not. So we'll see what happens. But um, comment down below. Tell me what you think about this Notre Dame Georgia game. Always like hearing from y'all and any other games actually as well um, that happened this uh, evening or today earlier today. I have some videos of, of my reactions from a, for the uh, games today um, earlier today. So thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to your channel. Greatly appreciate if you do that. Thanks for watching. And this is McDee the Beast signing off.